So today is a quick introduction on using the iPad Tinkercad app. We create a new project and the first thing we must always do is rename our project. There's the project name in the top left hand corner. We tap on that and it will bring up the keyboard for us to rename our project. I'm going to call it test one today. Once we've done that, if you look on the right hand side, it says basic shapes. You're allowed to change into all different types of shapes, but today and for the first few lessons, we're going to stick with basic shapes and learn how to use them correctly. You see there are four white dots. That shows you the dimensions, the length, the width, and the height. And if we hold on one of those, we can drag and manipulate that. If I hold the work plane, I can change the view. You see there I've selected the top center white cube. And that allows me to move it up and down and make it taller or shorter. If I tap on the white box with numbers, it allows me to enter a specific number. And that's the same with all of the three dimensions. So here I'm just writing 40, which will make the box 40 millimeters wide. I'll do it again, and that will make it 40 millimeters deep. Now that I've made my initial shape a different color and I've changed the dimension so it's 40 by 40 by 40, I'm going to bring in a second shape. Now you see this is red, which is what all shapes are when they start. And I've placed it inside the first shape. They are two separate shapes, but I can make them one shape by holding my finger down on the action modifier button and tapping on both then selecting group. The arrows are pointing to it now. That allows me to make one shape. That changes the shape to one color. We don't want that, so if I select the color button and go down to multicolor, it allows me to see all the different original colors within the shape. Let's bring in another cube. And if you see, when I try and move the first shape, it moves because that's now one shape. It'll become clearer as we do more and more. So I hold my finger down on the action modifier button. You see it's highlighted now. And then I tap on both shapes and select group. Now we don't have three shapes, we have one shape again. So now that we've got one new shape made up of three cubes, let's bring in a sphere, which is a 3D circle shape. I'm going to select that from the basic shapes and drag it across. Now I can change the dimensions, but what I want to change is the elevation. I want to raise it off the build plate. If you see on the top of the shape when selected, there's a little black cone. If I hold my finger on that, it rises up the 3D shape. Now it's tricky. If I change the way I view this, you can see that I'm far away from that shape. So I need to move it so it's just above and then lower it down by using the black cone and you'll see it now moving into the original shape. I can change the dimensions to make it look the shape I want it to be and then remember the action modifier button I hold down in the bottom left hand corner and tap on the other shape and select group. Now we have got one shape made up of a cylinder, a large cube and a small cube and I can move them around and modify them as one. Now the last step is we're going to make a hole. So I'm going to bring in another sphere. I'm going to drag it across and move it to where I want to within the original shape. Here it is here. But to make a hole, we don't want to have a colored shape. Next to the color which it is, there is a button which allows me to turn it into a hole. So I've made the shape the size I want it to be, and I've turned it to a hole. And then I'm going to make it a little bit larger. And then I'll duplicate, which means to make another copy. So I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Now up just under the word test one is the duplicate button. And it makes another copy within the first. I drag it across. I'm happy with where they are. Now remember the action modifier button. We hold that down and we select all the shapes. So to make a hole, we put a hole inside a solid, select and group, and voila, we'll turn it into one shape with a color.
couple of holes taken out of the back. It'll become a lot clearer the more that we practice and the more that we work on this, but this is the basic features of Tinkercad so far.